All right, guys, we are playing Darius up against Sion in super low elo. Now, I'm not too sure what the exact rank of this match is, but um, it's the first match I'm playing on the account, so I'm going to assume it's the lowest ranked one because that would be the safe guess, I'm assuming. Let's turn off the shadows because these are always, they're always disruptive, right? Don't like them. Don't like them. Yeah, I'm starting to think this isn't the lowest of elos, <laughs> considering the pincer maneuver. What was that? Alright. It's already two wards down, which is more than and the average bronze support puts down in an entire match. So, yeah. Um, this is how it is with new accounts nowadays, by the way. The account doesn't start in, like, bronze or iron. You just straight up start in, like, silver or gold, right? That's the rank that the account started. That's why some people, like, are like, Wait, what do you mean you can get to diamond by just winning 11 games? But it's like, yeah. if you win 11 games with, like, a fresh account in a row, that's the crucial bit, without losing, then it just puts you in diamond anymore, right? Not completely, but you start getting diamonds in your matches, so, yeah. The system's changed, and we must change with it. But technically, this is an unracked account of diamonds, so. Eh. <laughs> I knew it was gonna W and then go for the three minions, so I just went for the. W cheese. I've tolerated gods and kings long enough. Hang that. He's gonna TP. Right. <clears throat> Stand and die. If I can get a hook, I should be able to put him down. We're good. Let's drink up. We have a potential 2v2 on the horizon. Took a bit of lollyganging, but we finally put him down. Good. By the way, I went longsword. I I'm just running the conch sorcery. I went longsword because it's, it's low rank, and I can guarantee that I'm going to just brute force through my opponent's HP bar. Right. Normally, deep blade is a lot better, right? Because you get more stats. You literally get more stats than the, like um, longsword. This just puts me ahead because I'm now closer to my mythic by like the 350 gold. Could have gotten refill potion too, but it is what it is. This is fine. By the way, build wise, I'm going to go for Triforce and Sterex. I'm going for that setup. Triforce, Holebreaker, Sterex. Sterex. <laughs> what's, what's a Sterex, man? All right. Triforce, Holebreaker, Sterex. There we go. Yeah, ain't it fun how fair this matchup is? Yeah, this guy's definitely not like silver or whatever. Like, that guy's definitely. Like, he's not like high elo by any means. Don't get me wrong. But that guy's not like a silver or an iron or a bronze player. This is, I think, low gold. I think this is low gold. By the way, guys. This is literally the first ranked match on this account. This is literally the first ranked match on this account. 
okay? Literally, no ranked matches in previous seasons, not in this season. This is the first match. And I'll try to do some research afterwards to find the exact ELO of the other players, but, you know, again, I keep getting people in the comments not believing me when I tell them the facts of how quickly you climb nowadays. Let's pull it back. Just straight up ran into lane and shove the whole thing. So I'm gonna run into lane and freeze the whole thing. We sacrifice a bunch of health for it, but we don't really need it. We kind of crush him in the fights. Yeah, took a bunch of poke there, which ain't good. I'm gonna go down and take the plant. Never mind, the Kiana took it. Wonderful. Wonderful. We're just chilling. Not too much damage, but enough to make things good. The thing is, we're kind of low on HP now because I've been taking minions for a bit. So I have to be a bit careful of how I use my health. I can land like Q's, that should be like great. Ah. I tank that. Ooh. Pretty sure he's out of mana by now. And one rotation of abilities and he's gone. Let's get this crashed in. I mean, if he stays and shoves, he's not going to be able to do it too quickly off of just 30 mana. So I'd say we're good to go to recall and get closer to our Triforce. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on on the map. Um, Jungle's doing fine. Good. Mid's doing fine. Bot lane is hanging in there. As for the enemy team, Kane is doing all right. Mid's getting... Kind of pushed in, but the miss not getting destroyed as hard as you'd think. Cast him, get destroyed by Kiana. And Tristana has died twice, but she's kind of doing better than the vein. More CS, more gold. Alright then. Yeah, this guy just shoves it. I don't want to sacrifice my health like last time. So this time I'm gonna just keep it. Slaughter the lions in their death. Let's just slow push and build a freeze naturally.
Ah. The flash key location specifically was trash there. But man, that third shot kind of ruined my chance of killing them both. Oh, yeah. I could have either just killed the sun and died like I did, or I could have just dragged the fight out here. And if I did this, then the cane... I'd be basically fighting the cane 1v1 here, because if the sun just came and not just killed the ceiling right I think that would have been better. Should have just fought up here, the cane would be on me. And then I could try to one-shot him. And then once the sun came back in full or whatever to do some damage while watching the cane die, then I'd kill him too. I feel like I went for the quicker one, the more impatient play, which ended up in me dying. I, I will not inquire further. I will not inquire further. Yeah, this is good. I can freeze this better. Let's get that out of the way. Good. Let's go back. Good. Be free to fight. Be free to kill. So far, I gotta get like upgraded boots at some point. Find freedom in the carnage. Oh, boots. Sure, there's still. I'd say Tobby's right. Tobbies will work out the best, but they do have a bunch of CC, don't they? Not too much, but annoying enough CC. Like Morgata. And also the sign himself. Bro, what is this slow? <laughs> what was that slow, man? Off of just his R? Whatever. Let's just shove this in and perma poke him down in the turret. Should be done. Look what loyalty got you. Nice. Let's get some place now. He ain't challenging us, right? <sighs> Pretty expected. This is cringe to go for here, isn't it? They do mostly AD. I'll just straight go for my um, hole breaker here then. Let's get the move speed first and also get pickaxe out. I want boots right, so maybe we get move speed enough. Not enough, but some supplementary move speed from the wing moon plate. That's just sad, man. <laughs> oh, she actually got the kill! Nice! <laughs> she actually got that kill, nice. I do not care. Fight me. Okay. <laughs> hey, air support! Bam! He didn't get either of them? Alright, that sucks. We should have a turret here at least. Sun TVs. So if I could find like a plant or something here. Please. Nope. Alright, Kane's bot. Let's just kill the sound then. Good. Sub, bro.
One seconds, boy. Hungry for seconds. May the strong devour the weak. We have to recall here because the cane is probably running up here like a lap dog. I ought to go. I hate that I have to go like Tobby's here. Oh. I have to do it just for the damage, even though I'd, I'd use, I'd like the tenacity more for like my purposes of just playing the game. Huh, <sighs> we'll just have to try not to get hit by Morgana's root then, huh? Simple enough, but easier said than done. I do not need you, man. <laughs> Bro, I do not require help. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that they thought they were going to kill me there, though. Like, I actually can't believe that. Because until now, there's no evidence of them showing any sort of... Like... They haven't been able to beat me yet. Like, definitively. Only, like... I guess when I took that turret shot, maybe they thought that that turret counts as a 2v1. It was me diving two people. Also, let's get out of here because I don't have a wave to take this. Gonna recall, get a hole breaker, then build towards a stair axe. <clears throat> What's happening here? Kane's fed. Karthus is doing well. Kiana's just kind of doing Kiana things, sort of, <laughs> I guess. Um, Any anyway, Tristana is strong. I definitely have to get magic at some point in this game. Yeah, Kane's gonna be a ball egg, isn't he? Ray up. Well, let's do our split push thing, I guess. Coffee, coffee. Pretty sure I can brute force that turret. You will lie broken in my wake. First, let me take Kane's jungle camps. Actually, I, 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 I don't know. Okay. He got that? Alright. You're in for a world of pain, mister. What is this CC, man? Did you guys see that? I got four men and the, I just got CC locked there. Alright, alright, alright. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You're gonna suffer, you're gonna suffer, you're all gonna suffer. Alright, first things first, we gotta make sure to chill until our son is back. Like that that much is a like readily apparent. Secondly, what was our mistake here? Our big mistake was just not realizing how many of them were on the way and then just kind of positioning in a way where we could just get hit by that Morgana stuff. Cause that like dark biting was just the end of us really. Hmm. Like, once I got hit by that, it was over. Because it just chained me with all of Scion CC. And then that was just, like, me done for. So. We have to try not to get messed up like that. Also, he takes turrets so, it's like, slowly. I'm pretty sure I could just, like, walk up to him and catch up. Alright. Let's go, then.
Okay. Well, they're going towards the dragon, so I should be able to get this basically for free. They got him. They got, yeah, they, they just wiped them out on their own. Good. Let's just farm up and get Styrax. Kind of want to be even more powerful. Yeah, I think the vein is now fed. What is this setup, man? It's actually crazy that it's like it's working, right? Vein got her items and, she, and then she started killing everyone. So, so somehow that's working, right? Wonderful. Well, look at us, man. We are a one-man army of a, a, a beefcake. Look at this. Look at these stats, boy. Uh, there's plenty of beef to go around, boys. Let's go. Spit them facts, Darius. Spit the facts. Roughly 940. Morgana's just dead. Never mind. Kiana got cheese there. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Those are some nice CCs, man. What was that? Were you nice? You nice. Annihilating. Oh, he got away! He's the one that got away. All right, let's see what is in the next match. Peace out. Okay, we're back with some more gameplay, and I just had a legendary voice crack there. <clears throat> okay, room top. Let's get into it. Um, and let's see here. This is more so in the gold-ish territory, I'd say. So we're doing fine, I'd say. Um. Climb wise, but I suppose this that's where we basically started out. It's not really that much progress now, is it? Let's get the wave in and let us do battle with Riven, Broken Covenant Riven versus God King Darius. A matchup of the ages. <clears throat> yep. Try to go for like a W cheese. Because it just works a, a lot more than it should around here. <clears throat> oh, 
she's not challenging us, so I'll just throw her off of the CS. Could be a new new gaming moment. I new new game with bot lane instead. Ain't I a silly little g a silly Billy? Hey guys, I'm just a silly Billy. Um, if I can get here in time, I should be able to kill the Nunu. Okay, he flashed. Oh no! I fat fingered my flash too. Okay, <laughs> I hope the river doesn't know about that. Why, why did I do that? Or whatever. Yeah, my my center key is on X, which I pressed with my thumb. Okay, this should be a kill for Kazix. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh. Never mind. Alright, we got bodied. <sighs> if I didn't hit my flashy, we would have killed the ribbon. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, good. Yeah, man. I've never fat finger my flash like that ever, so it's just happening such a huge shock to me. Also, it kind of makes sense that he wouldn't kill the ribbon there because she had no isolation. She was in your minions the whole time. Then hmm. just push this up. She stayed in the wind too, way too. Much. Right. Cost her a few bits of XP there. Let's get some vision on the news jungle and see if he's still here. Nope, he's around bot side. Okay. Let's get back up here then. Right, the game's not going too well so far, so we have to lead us to a better time. Now, we gotta be careful here, because she's gonna get her level 6 sooner than we do. So if we stay here, she can just engage on us and kill us with her ultimate. We gotta accept the crash. That's not going good. At least all these Sonos did. Unless the Lucian fights here too much. Never mind. They both got away. Nice. Okay. Should have W'd it. I literally clicked on it. What is this? Renounce your loyalty. She going ravenous. <clears throat> She 
She's kind of just giving up CS. So, don't exactly mind all this. Farming. I pressed E. Where? Dude, I don't know what's going on, man. Still bot lane. That works. Yeah, she kind of just stood in my range for way too long. Like when she went for a Q combo without having her ult activated, and this is something I. <laughs> this is the one thing I learned from playing Riven. Because she did it without her ultimate, she wasn't planning on killing me there, she was just going for a trade. But I knew I could kill her there. So I just went for it, killed her, and because she didn't have her ultimate activated, it didn't... Um, it wasn't enough to kill me, it was never gonna be without the R. Also, this one minion just walking out to ruin my wave position is always appreciated. Gonna go for Stridebreaker for the move speed. Man, we have the first kill on our map, that is crazy. Make the strong to the <sighs> Can I do this? Can I not do this? Let's find out. Don't tell me he gets sold. Don't tell me he gets soloed. Oof. The even backline is getting super duper fed. Bro, what? I'm an what am I supposed to do with this? I'm pretty sure it is demented little jungler head. He's blaming me for him not doing anything the whole game. That works. The worst part is because it's got free gold from that and I got nothing out of it. Runs into me and dies right in front of the noon. <laughs> Man, that's kind of funny. Oof, we got a lot of carrying to do here, like a, a lot. It would be astounding if I found some way to win, win this. Also, I don't know why I was weirding out initially, but. I'm kind of getting my senses back, I suppose. Good. We can sincerely hope that the Vladimir doesn't kill too many people here. Why didn't he just run here and kill the Kha'Zix? A mystery for the ages. She actually saves him there. Yep. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. Wow. No. 
I will lead the charge. I will lead our team to victory. Okay. They haven't gotten too many objectives so far, so we're kind of not doing too bad. And because it's actually, how did he steal that from a Nunu, by the way? Like that, just, that, that does not happen. Yes, it did. Here and now. Well, I mean, if she was slightly less behind, she might have killed me there. Gonna go for a hole breaker. I mean, the team's kind of slowly picking up. Like up, right? Kazix has some few kills now, but um, I think we still got a hole break it just so that we can do like a final solo carry, you know. Men from kings, from prey. They didn't have any bounties, he just got both of them, didn't he? Yeah, let's head to the news jungle and see what's up here. Ult-wise, uh, 110, we do roughly like uh, 780-ish, 800-ish. Gonna grab that blue buff. Uh, he saw me, he saw me, he saw me. Yeah, I should have hit better. That's how it's done, baby! That's how it's done, baby! Don't worry, team. I got this. Don't worry, team. I got this. Hey, hey, hey don't worry, bro. I got this. Age of conflict Woo. is within our grasp. All we have to do is take it. Damn right. Let's go. Hmm. I'm gonna go for Sterex. Not this stance. Gotta get more beef. More beef. Who ended up getting the blue buff? I think she's the one who killed the Nunu there or something. I'm just gonna wait for the wave. That's one extra turret shot. Never mind. My, the, the thing I planned didn't even go out properly. Actually, has protobuild, so it's a little crazy. He got caught by me down there.
We're cooking, bro. We are engaging in advanced cookery. Let's go. Teams are getting slaughtered. That's fine. I mean, we're basically like, like we're way more powerful than like all other team combined. Now maybe Caitlyn could put up a fight, <coughs> but I seriously doubt it. Now I don't have my R here, which makes things a little tricky, right? But I think I'm stat balling enough to kill them all anyway. I got the dragon <laughs> from Anunu. Nice. I mean, we go still for just for dragon, which isn't the most worth it thing, but I mean, it is what it is, right? They got the Nami at least. Okay, I think a ribbon is just kind of inting at this point. She should just proxy to waste my time. Like logically, that's the, her best move. Oh. Hundred. That's nothing, bro. Legendary. I'm kind of running low on mana, actually. What's our R damage looking like? 130, 160, 160 point times 1.5. That's like the, I'm, I'm just running you guys through the math I do in my head. 240, 240 plus 780 is roughly 1,020. He's got red buff. All right, I can kill him. Oh, wow. I got CC'd there for so long. Yeah, I got caught in that trap, and that was the end of me. Also, I have... Holbaker! I would have survived there! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yeah, that sucked. I'm like, why am I so much squishier than usual here? But my Hullbreaker wasn't turned on. That's 50 armor that I didn't have access to there. Blech. Yeah, that sucked. <sighs> Excuse for a crown guard. I tried to Q flash there, but I was rooted, so I couldn't flash. My Q was wasted. It's all good. Just the gold going to Caitlyn or the Vladimir. It's, that's not the If it goes to Vladimir, it's alright, because, you know. If it went to Caitlyn, then we're in trouble, you know. That's when we're in trouble. I think we're still fine. Now, I don't have summer spells anymore, which is a bit problematic. But that's alright. Hmm. Couldn't wait for the Vlad to get here. Ah, almost. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, dude, the CC is crazy! Also, Vladimir got two bounties from me. God, that sucks. Wish I had my summons, man. Oof, I'm taking on their entire team and inting. The first time, whatever, but this time it was just me dying. Like, like an legit int, so that sucks. Next time I have to just use my summons to kill them all, or else the game, not the game, is over. Right, but we're done. Right. Gotta also refocus. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm low-key tilted at the Sona, but, you know.
I don't know. I think I think if you guys have watched me for a while, you know that I I hate Sona on my team because she's like the most worthless character ever. <laughs> like she just doesn't do anything. Just exists around you, right? Just doesn't mesh well with Darius at all. I actually got their own picks. Nice. Good job, boys. We have level 16 soon, which is going to be quite huge. That extra bit of damage. We we'll lost a one shot better. I gotta pick them one by one by one. The whole taking them all on at once thing is just a bit. like, not feasible. Mid out. She's got a Gale Force and a Static Ship. It's gonna be quite tough for me to get to her. Once I do get to her, I kill her pretty quickly, but getting to her is just tough on its own. I just prowl around here. So if they go for the Baron, I can go for a killer flank. Alright, they left it alone. Let's no shove this in. I doubt they're gonna get the rivet there. <laughs> so the chase doesn't make too much sense. There she is. What? 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 Kayla's kind of like their main person who can clear waves safely. So with her here, I was like, all right, we can do something. All right, they're getting collapsed on, slash destroyed. You actually made away with a turret there. So that's good. If I could just get my claws on her. Okay, we've got an inhib. That's good. We're just peeling away at them from every direction. Okay, that happened. Is Vlad soloing them? Our whole team? Bruh! Dude, he, 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 he took everyone on, and almost won! <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's get some jungle caps and get our death dance in. Not enough, actually. I'll just sell my D-Blade. Bam. Bam. Let's run back in. Alright. We ought to be super powerful right now. Um, Item-wise, let's see here. We kind of need... The thing about the fights is that the Vladimir can kind of kill me when I'm with other champions. Because the only magic I have is from my Hullbreaker. So that's a bit a bit problematic. Does this go up to 90 or 75? Alright, yeah. We must um, don't think Force Initiative is the best idea, but Spirit Visage could work very well for us. Let's get the other inhib. Okay. will die next! Yeah. 
I will blame that on them too. I will blame that on them too. If I had more resistance here, I would have survived longer. Alright. <laughs> that works. That was a clean flash QWR. Anyway, um I'd say that's it for the match. <laughs> like, they were playing a different game than me, man. Anyway, um I suppose I'll see you boys in the next one. Bye. Okay, we have returned. We're up against Gwen Top. Let's maul her. Um, pretty simple matchup as far as matchups go. Gwen is kind of a champion where she wins if she just picks the right fight. There isn't too much mid-fight outplaying you can do aside from just dodging your Q. But it's a pretty big amount of outplaying, right? Because that's basically her entire kit, right? So, um... You essentially want to make sure to use your ghost to move around her to not tank her full Q or move in ways where she can't securely land all of it, right? Because it doesn't just go all at once. It's like da 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 da. So if you move out during the half of it, she's gonna da 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 into the thin air. I hope I was able to explain that. Now, again, also just straight up loses in fights if you all in her. So that's something to, I guess, be glad for. And the real threat with this matchup comes at level 6. Because level 6, if the Gwen has both of her ultimate up and her ignite up, then she can basically just all in you and one-shot you from full health. So you want to basically make sure that you can either use one of your summoner spells to get away from her and just disengage, or be so far ahead by that point that you kill her before she can even do anything to you, right? You definitely have to land some tricky flash cues or whatever to be able to beat her level 6 when she has her ignite up. In any case, there she is. Hello. You will die. Um. She also loses the level 1. But I doubt she's going to allow us to get into melee range. <clears throat> Let's play this super slow. Try to get as much CS as possible to just get a lead that way. Initially, at the very least. I kill that minion so that this will move into a more awkward spot for it to see us. Not allowing her to get anything here. I kind of knew that the Levo was going to gank me there, so I was prepared for it. This is kind of saw I went for a quick combo, then EQ into land Q on both of them. Auto attack, take the Lilia down, she likes to bleed there anyway, so I don't have, don't have to put the finishing touches on her. Then I move in and finish off the Gwen. Because I had Noxium Might and I was full HP, I could tank like three turret shots and still get out of the turret rage, which was ample time for me to get that final attack in and leave. So, yeah. Lilia is not a champion that, like, there are a bunch of junglers, jungle champions, they can very easily 2v1, okay? But generally speaking, this is a general idea when you're considering, when you're calculating if you can 2v1 enemy top and jungler or not. Number one thing is their CC. If they have a ton of CC, then you have to, like, either make sure you can avoid it, or just not take the 2v1. Because CC is their real counter of Darius. Like, if you can kite the enemy, and wait for your Q to come back up twice, and then get like a double Q, or hook both of them, and then Q them both, then that's like your win condition for two of ones, right? But also you gotta stay on like one target. Like you gotta run to one target, stack on them, Q them both, kill that one target, and kill the next one, right? That's how you play two of ones out. If you get CC'd, they can both jump on you and get all their damage on you at once, which is basically just gonna end up in you getting killed, okay? Gonna ping miss in here. So, yeah. If they have CC, then you're in trouble. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? 
They're dead here. They're dead here. They're dead. I mean, Karthus might die too, but... I mean, we lose our freeze here, but... I mean, two kills for the two. No, we don't lose our freeze. Perfect. I think I'll stay. I know we got a bunch of gold on the spend, but I'd rather just keep this freeze going on. Nice. So yeah, CC is the biggest indicator of whether you'll win two ones or not. And if it's champions like J4 or Rek'Sai or something where they have avoidable CC, it's whether you can avoid that CC or not, right? Other champions are like like Kane. Kane doesn't have CC, and his damage isn't too great in bursts. Kha'Zix is great if you can make sure that you don't give them isolation. Rengar's okay once he jumps out of the bush. As long as he... If he jumps on you from a bush, then you're kind of just doomed because he can CC you, damage you, or even survive your damage. I could go through the list of all the junglers, but it's all about how much CC they got, basically, right? Even if you're up against two tanks who don't even have the damage to kill you, with enough CC, they can eventually grind you down, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna go for Triforce this match, by the way. Kog'Maw's gonna be a bit of an annoying character to take down here. Hmm. I'm thinking... We can go for a risky Triforce setup. Right? Or maybe something with like a... Um, dual resistances. I know for sure that... I don't know. I don't think there's a tank in Kog'Maw. I think it doesn't matter what you build. He just kills you anyway. Also, that was crazy for it to actually go for. What? Yeah, that was just insane. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think there's anything I can do to tank Kogma. Kogma just destroys tanks. So it's best for me to play my, my strengths and go for the Triforce setup. Also, I don't think you're being drunk here, buddy. I'll sell my health pot for the Triforce. Actually, no, no, I can't afford it. Well, I'm selling you instead. Bye. You've served your purpose, son. We have Triforce at seven minutes. <laughs> that's, so, that's so insane, actually. Actually, that's so insane. Man, I'm, I, I'm, I love to be back on a champion that actually know how to play. Oof. Because a lot of these videos that I do of other champions, I don't actually play them. So a lot of the times I'm just like learning the champion as I go. But I already know this guy, so we're crushing these little players. I think because I'm so far ahead, I can just kill her, even though she has level six or whatever. Let's see if the Lily is in. <coughs> knock knock. Oh no, she ain't. Okay. She have rip off on her? Nope. This is spawning. The damage? I think if I have my ultimate, I just straight kill her on the turret. I'll proxy and then kill her. That's smart, is it? That, that was a bit cheese. Huh. Because your ult moves you, I think I got into ult, and then Darius' ult just kind of jumped into an area where I was out of her W. And I remember one point, like this was a while ago, where I was up against a Gwen, and because I was in such a weird position with her W, I'd walk in, ult, and then they would just keep repositioning, and I canceled ult like three, four times like that. You do not want this, sweetheart. Can't say I didn't warn her. <laughs> Why she keeps, like, making sounds when she's dead? Put these little 
comes out to pasture. Got that right, dare you us. <clears throat> She gets some plates here, actually. It's fine. Let her have it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can just brute force this turret now that I've tried for us. Yeah, I don't think I need to bother with a freeze or whatever. Good. Yeah, but the second she just wasted her E, she put herself in perfect position where we just full come over there. Is this, uh, what are you doing? I had to move around there because there is a world where she actually just lands everything and kills me there. So I had to activate my uh not to not to reference Andrew Tate, but I had to activate my Aikido there. <laughs> Alright. Alright, rip, rip, rip. Alright, um I guess we go top. Um, does the Katrina not want this? Alright, she's going straight bot, I'll take mid over. Get the mid turret, I guess. Karthus kills the Gwen too. They actually exchange kills. Oh, it's not good for us. We have two full turret platings of gold under our belt. We have a finished stair axe at level uh, at minute thirteen. This is cray cray. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'll stack the health first. All right, I'll go top and take this out. I'll give their bot lane some room to breathe, because I don't want this to be like a complete stomp. I want there to be some sort of people. This is a resistance, right? <clears throat> Let's get on up here. Get on up! I think she might be lagging or something. No. Let's get. Let's let me, let me get my red buff. My red buff, not yours. Let's get the wave, then I'll get the Krugs, recall for Holebreaker. Don't even try. Let's 
sucked. I'm like a father playing with his children. <laughs> you know, I can just ghost and kill them all, but I kind of want to see what they're what they're up to. <laughs> Man, this is just cruel. All right, all right, let's let's see, let's get our hellbreaker. Um, bro, why is he still at rage knife? I don't even know what to go at this point. I'm so far ahead. Let's get a thing of longsword. I'll go bulk, by the way. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. 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 Do go spear shojin. I. I mean, I am a big spear shojin hater. I'm a full time hater. But um, I think if 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 shojin is gonna be useful any game, it might as well be useful this game, right? Okay, that was a sick engage from the Lilia. Too bad it didn't. Like, no one was in position to follow up. I got the Jin. Tell me Gwen doesn't get another kill. Whoa. Blitzcrank taking out the largest threat in that fight, apparently. bit too crazy there but i think that also proved a, a point of sorts um i think with the amount of damage we're doing i kind of want something that will top me up health wise in the middle of the fight because just triumph ain't enough right so that's the sound of the demons of ravenous hydra calling to me yes is that even good enough? What does anything give Omnivap anymore? Not really. This is basically as best as it gets. All right, cool. Well, that bot turret is still up. So, but then again, I don't want to be near my teammates. So, guess we're going top side. Gwen, go in. It's actually good because the Lulu killing me means that she got my one thousand gold bounty, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'd say that's pretty good for the team. Kogma also just used both sums there. I'm fairly soon I just walk and catch up to her. Nah. I do not care. <clears throat> Bruh. Bruh, you tripping, dog. Kill the little creature. I'll leave the inhibit alone for now. Let's get the red buff. <clears throat> Be free to fight. Be free to kill. Okay, she's cooking. Oh, oh, she's getting cooked. She's getting cooked. Rip. That sucked. In this world, you either cook or you get cooked. 
It's a cook. It's it's a doggy dog world, guys. It's a cook or be cooked world. Let's get our ravenous hydra. <laughs> Instead of going for something that kind of made sense in a very nonsensical way, I went for something that makes completely no sense. Classic Roku. Uh, <laughs> um. Did I say that a lot, by the way? Um. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, one of my friends used to go riff maker on Darius. Like, don't even ask why. Um, but he did. Bloodthirster looks really nice, honestly. Bloodthirster looks real nice, except it's not gonna come into like effect a lot, because you know you're not above fifty percent health as Darius or Arya. Well, let's farm up, get some AD, even more AD, really. You boys ready? Slaughter the lions in their den. Hmm. I got my flash in twenty six, which is what I'm waiting for. <clears throat> I kind of want to let them do their thing. Like, I want them to beat my team first and then me. Because I'm like the final boss, right? If they can't beat my team, then they don't, like, like they haven't cleared the dungeon to face the final boss yet. You guys know what I'm saying? You got to clear the, 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 the mobs first. In any dungeon. Guys, I'm hunting alone. I'm hunting alone. That's my edgy voice. I hunt alone. Amen. He doesn't look at him. My frightening gaze destroyed it. Are they are they FFing or something? Probably, yeah. What an anticlimactic end to this thriller of a match. <clears throat> I know Mego and Bloodthruster is completely just stupid. Right? It's 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 just dumb. It's just dumb. But I rarely get the chance to troll build as theirs. Nowadays, so <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I do not care. Illusion. Bro. Leave. There you go. Good boy. Okay, that Baron Gold helped me. Okay, let's get this wave as well. We can tell because the waves are mirrored, by the way. And now I return. Five hundred AD. What is that? That's one point three K on its own. Noxybite one eighty. Conqueror. Two point five. Twelve stacks. So it's roughly thirty. So one hundred eighty plus thirty. Two hundred ten. The 5 stack on screen might is 1.5 of your bonus AD, so 210 times 1.5 is 315, 
we deal 1,600 damage with a 5 stack ult. Let's do this. Um... Clear it. Zed is dead? This will simply not do. Oh well, we'll kill whoever we can. They didn't let me 1v2. 1v5, I mean. I'm kind of mad. Ungrateful teammates. Anyway, I'll see you guys next one. Peace out. All right, guys. Apparently, the enemy has an insane Smurf. So, <laughs> let's see what we can bring to the table. Now, this match is encroaching upon the territory of Platinum. So, the last, I think, three matches I recorded, or two, I lost count. Yeah, I wasn't even counting. I didn't count to begin with. But um, those were, like, in gold. And one of them had silver players in it, but... This one has platinum players, like two, three of them, so let's get to it. I got a recall. One of those min minions here. Now, you gotta be a little bit careful against Mordekaiser, so it's not int. And their team is looking a little ranged. This was a Striber here match for sure. Strabreaker, into Hullbreaker, into whatever the rest of the items I need for the match. Okay. Okay, I thought it was Mordekaiser top. I mean, I thought it was Mordekaiser mid and Akshan top, which kind of confused me. Wouldn't make too much of the first, except we'd have to play way more back because the Akshan is ranged and we didn't go the shield. But it is old pal Mord, so... Now worries, might. Rengar starting red. Well, if it was normal Darius, that statement would be fine, but I am God King Darius. That's a mess. I take that Q4, a non solo Q from him. I don't know why, but I call Mordekaiser's, you know, single Qs where he just hits one target, solo Qs. Ah, the can didn't die there? That sucks. It's not good. Pretty sure he dies to bleed there. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of just like killed himself there by just hooking me in like that. Because not only did that reposition me to get the rest of my stacks off, but it also took the... I, I like I left the turret range and it brought me back in. So I was under the turret without tanking the turret. Like the targeting has was already changed at that point. So, thanks. We also have our flash to use the 2v1. So, that's good as well. So far, so good. Hmm. Yeah. The like our our scores are basically mirrored except for top. Well, they're not mirrored at all, are they? Yeah, I, I was just freedom anarchy. Whatever. At this point, I'm just waiting to. 
have the Mordekaiser walk up, and then kill them both. I think I'll ride this freeze out until the end of time. It's like in such a perfect spot. Now the Rengar can jump, but I'll see him coming. There could be a world where Mordekaiser walks up here, gets to fight me, Rengar's here, and then you they jump on me in 2v1. But I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I'll win that. Pretty sure. Dude, my pronunciation just randomly die sometimes. Good. Yeah, that Omelon was dead again. R.I.P. I love fighting Smurfs, man. It's always so fun. Smurf versus Smurf, right? <laughs> so I think I'm going to take this match seriously. Uh, okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was planning on completely trolling this match by going for like a full lifesteal build with like Gordrinker, Ravenous Hydra, but given that the Rengar is a quote-unquote Smurf and my team's like, it's like an anime. They have an insane smurf. So I have to put the meat on the table and show the team who's boss to inspire them, you know? You have an Akshan, so I should be careful of that. Let's use my Demolish here. Don't think I'll be able to. The minions are not in a good spot for it. He's got two plates. I should get on soon. I'll recall here instead of in the bush. Actually, no. Can probably kill the Mord again. I'm, I'll just stay. Right. <laughs> I do not care anymore. Why oh, they stop this? Um. It's like the new version of Garen's super old passive. You guys remember the villain thing? Right. I'm not a savior. I am an executioner. Why can't there be? Oh, that sucks. Couldn't get my W off. That's a messed up the wave a bit. Ooh, I think I had a recall. The thing is, I can stay here and kill him, but I can't 2v1 at this state. So it's best for me to back off here. I crashed the wave in so quickly that I kind of have a decent amount of time to get it, get back here. I know we lose that plate, but it is what it is. I don't much care. There we go. Crush, Crush this feeble uh, excuse for a crown guard. Um, uh, Darius, which one is a crown guard exactly? Yeah. Oh my god, God King Darius is schizo just like me. <laughs> Ugh. All right, the team just popped off. That's good. Ball lane exchange kills. Lucian got him. That's good, but they're kind of behind still. So, eh. the of <clears throat> you made your Perfect. Got demolish up again. I'll just bust the turret down here. That was close, wasn't it? Also, he kind of trolled by doing the, the camp there. Alright, yeah, we gotta get out. 
We're at the risk of getting targeted by both the Akshan and the Ringer. Good. Because the Ringer is level 5 here. And then he took the Dragon Recall. He's now here. So if he has level 6, he's going to jump right on us. And I'm pretty sure we don't have the health to tank him, even for like an EQ. Let's go for Hellbreaker. An age of conflict within our grasp. All, All we, we have, have to, to do is, is take it. An age of conflict is within our grasp. I wish they gave Darius better quotes in the skin, man. I'm sorry. But I like God King Garen has way better quotes than God King Darius. Straight up. Let's cook, bro. Nope, he accepts death. That's fair enough. No, oh. let's get in here. Bro, what? I was born to end tyrants and bathe their kingdom to like fire. <laughs> Always more rulers to put down. Always more thrones to break. I have to I have to specifically go out of my way to say that. Because I know that tilts people. I just want to do, like, the normal, huh, thing. The normal missing ping. <sighs> I think if we kill him over time, we get the turret. I'll put this here. I know it's not going to double ward like that. It's wasting the ward, but... I'd rather be super careful. Let's see here, yeah, still on cooldown. I think I think I can go for another one. That kills? That kills. Okay. Like I, I was like, alright, there's surely I survived this, but like the collector I think made a difference. I did not expect that to kill there. Also, didn't he get my bounty? Pretty sure the bounty he got it, right? Whatever. But yeah, I can't believe that killed there. What? Blech. Blech. Looks like it Next time, I'll be a bit more ruthless against you, pal. Just a tad, though. Just a touch. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but I like having my stats here instead of my runes. I just do the runes for the viewers so that they know what runes I run. Okay, I gotta kill them both here. I have level 11, so I have rank 2 or... Should be trivial. Unless they see me coming like that. Well. I'll just take Rengar's camps. Buff. 
We almost caught him. A bit more gold. We have it. I think me giving that kill to the Yuxian might have kickstarted his uh, snowball. This war is just you can have a little guy. I'm quite giving in moments like this. I didn't get here early enough, so I couldn't catch the kill on the Mord. <laughs> Bro! I should have started with a Q. Why am I- did I, am I having a stroke right now? Why did I just Q-flash all the way ult kill him? Was that just W then ran at him? Okay, I'm inting. I'm just inting now. I'm just inting now. Come on. Come on. Stop the int, stop the int, stop the int. <sighs> like, I just. I straight up inted here. I straight up inted there. Like, it was just an unbelievably terrible int. Cannot happen again, man. Like, no. Let's get the the wave here. Recall, get my hole breaker, and then come back in. Then we cook Jesse. True heroes feast upon the bones of kings. Good. I can get a long sword as well. For the uh, Sterax. Actually, Death Stance, but I, I don't want to go too deep into um, armor items. Because then the Mordekaiser might have a viable way into killing me. Let's do Herald then. Should get him here. Perfect. So we got top wave. Kind of just old things down there. Had ample backup. I kind of thought they were going to go for the Vex, but because they've killed me twice with Akshan, it makes sense that they go for me there. That they'd like attempt that. He's getting bodied here. Um, we should probably go on bot. Honestly, whatever. I'm gonna split the top anyway. If I went bot, I'd be here right now, and I could just flash on him and kill them. That was my bad. Yeah. Bad macro. Bad macro. The wolves are at your door. Let's just go one shot the mid turn, honestly.
There we go. <laughs> to end the game. Whew. I'll see you boys next one. Peace out. Oh, right, they were up against Nar top. I'm gonna... I, I could just go for D-Blade and be super aggressive, but I'd rather just, um... Not play it too risky, you know? Rather just stick to, um... D-Shield in case I mess things up so that I have, like, some room to come back into the lane and not get, like, completely poked out. So, yeah. Let's see what the teammates are gonna do here. Moving in. Anything? Nope. Gotta recall. Yeah, I can't reach that. <laughs> That's on you guys. Bro, that was like the, 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 the least consequential hook in the history of hooks. Well, that's all of his health bar, so he has to recall who he loses minions. And Pike's Flash, gone. Which isn't a great start, but happens, right guys? In any case, we move in. Let's see if I can get like a cheese on the Gnar. Okay, what I did there was carefully take the XP of these three minions, and he didn't have any. So we're three minions up XP wise. That sucks. But I'd say it's kind of fine. He's kind of just pushing the lane in, which I don't mind at all. I smell blood. It'll be a bit tough for me to cop a kill here when he's around this part of his lane. Because he can very easily just jump out and flash away. I have to make sure that he's around here. And when he's around here, this like when I land a W, for example, he's basically as good as it because I can just use my ult to bring him back from jump. Making him miss those minions. Not the greatest Q. I'm kind of greedy for that, actually. That's his jump? Don't have hook anymore. Fair enough. Flash is flash. Yeah, I'd say Nocturne is just power farming for a 6 now. Cannon. I mean, we're not. We haven't killed him yet, but we have a 20 CS lead, which we do like 
Like, I, I've been doing- like, I've been trying my hardest to just make sure they can get as little... He's dead there. Like, I knew the Nocturne was there, but I, I could get the Narc kill, so I just went for it. When the jungler is around, top laners just feel safe to be more aggressive. So, <laughs> that just gave me the opportunity to kill the Narc very quickly. Because I had my flash, I could just flash after him. And at the end, if you guys saw, instead of just going for the all attack instantly, I actually waited a tiny bit. Because the idea was, if I hit him right there with that auto attack, I can't get the next auto attack in without taking my turret shots. So Nocturne would be in position to kill me. I could only get one more auto attack in there while still be having enough um, HP and stuff to fight the Nocturne so he wouldn't fight me, right? So what I had to do there was wait for the bleed tick. Like, I had to wait for one more bleed tick, like one more stack damage per second. Then I went for the auto attack. So it both refreshed the bleed, so it will go on for five more seconds, and it did the damage, and it was enough for him to die, basically. So that's like the thought process in my head as I go for that all-in. He's balling us, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I can't. If you had to engage Nar with Hook, it's not a kill. Because you can just jump away, right? I'll cut that head from your neck. I can't really zone as hard anymore. I ought to be more careful. Let's get him to use his ultimate. We got Ghost coming up, which you can use for a kill. Good. If he walks up into all range again, I should be able to just ghost into him. I was just waiting for his jump, but I guess it wasn't on cooldown. He came to all range too soon. There's no reason for me to ult kill him there. It would have straight up just been a waste. So I opted to just all attack him to death. To Papa's Stripe Breaker. Let's get back into action. Um, I am racist. <laughs> Wait, okay. I hope this guy's not been popping off in my chat. There better not be some flavored language here. All right, good. I think I think it's safe to just mute him, because it's a ticking time bomb. You know, he's gonna say something at some point, so we have to be like preventative here. Ooh. No dodging that, is there? Nice. Just start going for me now. Gets all attack out. He just gets the boost out of nowhere. Ah, I got bamboozled. Why did I kill? Q, Q, like he was dead there. He was dead there, and I just queued. So he had the opportunity to just jump over me without being able to stop him. I should have just gone for that W first. Ah, that was terrible. That was so bad. Okay, now we have to just play back because the knock can ult kill us. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just straight up not in range, man. I offer you freedom. 
pretty sure we can just dive him. What? He just backed off! Alright, whatever. I'll get the plant then. Yeah, I, I, I misplayed this. This could have been... I mean, not the gank. The gank was impossible. But I, I misplayed the fight there that led to the gank. Where, where, mid. Yep. What am I gonna do? You ain't got CC. Back ghost now, so we can actually go for another kill, but. I don't want to recall for Strybreaker. Let's recall on Baron Wave. Not Baron Wave, um, Cannon Wave. Knock this around. That's a great amount of damage there. Let's crash this in. Right. Very cool. Once I get stride, this lane should be a lot more killable. Because the second I get into Q range, I can just stride. And stride is way faster than Q. So the second I get stride on him, that slow is long enough for me to just catch up to him. Like, regardless of where he is in the lane. I might lose some creeps here, but I'd say it's worth it for that Starbreaker power spike. One dead god. Oh. All good. Okay, be back. I'm not sure how well I can one combo him. I'd have to definitely get like a. I'm thinking auto W hook, Q shred auto R. No, bot should be mid. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it to give red to an ADC this early into the game. I'm not a savior. Cut first, I'm right? Executioner. He got boots. Now he's gonna have more move speed than me. Hooks my. I mean, he already has more move speed. Like as is. That slow was so insanely long. Well, I should have just ghosted. I would have killed him. But he has his flash, so I don't want to just exchange sums. I want to kill him. Pretty sure she just kills him here. She actually doesn't have any of the kills on herself, it's all but just <laughs> Pike's ultimate. Uh, dude, back off. She's already low HP, so if anybody, like, ganks here, they kill her instantly. And probably me next, I don't have the high HP to you either. Oh, I ought to get down here and kill them. I want to be way more mobile around the map. Man, I am, I'm just loving Hullbreaker, honestly. I love Hullbreaker, the new one. The fact that it gives Moosby is so nice. Have I built Hullbreaker second every match? <laughs> probably. I don't know. I just like it. It's probably not the most optimal item, now that I think about it, but it's fun. And it's not int, right? It's just... Like, if 10 out of 10 is optimal, it's like a, a 9 out of 10 or an 8 out of 10, you know? Let's get in here. Has been slain. 
You're not the target. You're just some guy. There's the Nocturne. Here he is. Go. We can get this really quickly, but we've got to be real quick. Perfect. Let's see if I can get like jungle camp or something. We have double boss, we just heal up anyway. <laughs> Never mind, we're, we're in position to fight now. We'll probably lose because it'll be more than one. And we don't have sums or ultimate, but still. Okay, we get our Hullbreaker here, which is perfect. I can start splitting bot lane. Leave me alone, lady. This is nice. They can just um, farm against each other. Now, I can't really snowball on the Ari because <laughs> she's way more mobile for us to kill. Oh, Kha'Zix just got clipped there. They're going to get clipped. They're going to get clipped. Just leave, 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 leave. Oh, no. They got caught. That's Ari R down. Nocturne R down. Good, not good, not good. I'll push this in. Demacia will drown in blood. They're probably going for the Herald. Gotta be quick here, though, with our damage on the turret. I can take it with these minions only. He has no move speed, right? Never mind. Yes, flee for work. Good. They got a pick on the Senna down there or up there. Guess I'll go for the dragon. Anything to take? Not exactly. There's a ward there. I'll get that. Good here, I'll go Starks. Let's get some more stuff. Let's just sell the D shield. It's not useful for us. What happened here? Had to remind him that he doesn't have the mana to survive there. And I had to type my justification because he did just rage at the other teammates. Okay. I'll have my flash up in quick enough of a time here. Woo. 
that Kha'Zix Q just tore him in half. Let's get back here. Oof. I think it's best to leave here. They're dead. We should have just turned on this end. I don't know why they kept running that way for the Aphelios. If we just, like, collapsed on the people we had here, I could have helped. And that would have gotten us, like, a, a way safer fight. Now, I would have probably died, but at least they would have lived. Actually, it's better for this, actually, for me to not die at all. Because I have a 1k bounty and they have just normal death cost. I mean, because it's a bounty, but still. This is actually the best case scenario that what just happened. So... At this point, I'd rather the Fizz not argue with the Trist, but he just, he started arguing, okay. Rip. I was trying to, like, defend him so that he doesn't have to talk, I guess. Like, oh, he told he talked for me, I don't have to talk. But, nope. Now I hope this argument does not take their focus out of the game. Um, we can do this, actually. Kha'Zix has it, um... Does he have Q-Valve? Yeah, he does have q -Valve. I don't know how it looks on this skin, but I think he has q -Valve, So we can do it. I got a tank, though. Yeah, the q -Valve lets us do this. Rush it, rush it, rush it. Perfect. Let me think. Um, this is a good idea. I'll pick up a null mantle, but I do want the move speed. Yeah, I'll go for it. I'll go for the DMP. I mean, we'll see how the match goes, but if the Ari is as much of a threat as she is, maybe it's best for him to go Force of Nature and not Demon's Plate. We'll have to see how things pan out, naturally. I'm playing quite conservatively in terms of the fights I get into. I'm trying to make sure I don't feed this bounty to the enemy team. Because anybody who gets this is not going to be in the position to carry. So I can't feed it to the Felios, not the Ari. Maybe not the Nocturne. I mean, it doesn't really matter much, but still. It's fine. Okay, I'll just keep the waves pushed as they do the dragon. They're <laughs> just like ready to go on me, man. Within a moment's notice. They pass. Nope. Kill a king, change the world. I'll go around. Kill a god king, change everything. Get that. We must begin to siege now. The thing that sucks is nothing can go on anyone. So we can't commit too hard. We've got to be in like a position where anyone else can pull back, right? Okay, good. Good job, good job. Now I can go for this turret. Yeah, when you siege with all three waves, it's just like... The pressure's too much. Not even close, pal. Let's finish. 
Dude, we are huge. Come on. <laughs> Tank something! Alright, whatever. You betrayed me. Anyway, I'd say that's about it for the smash. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Alright, we're back to the game. We're up against your top. Not a fun matchup, honestly. But we should be alright for the most part. So far as we as long as, long as we um avoid his W and E. Which is I guess we'll see how good he is at landing them. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of those champs that I quite often rage against. Because I hate him. Anyway, 20 seconds. Let's just wait up here. Start the leash and get back to lane. This skin with a great like it just makes him look so goofy. The voice lines and stuff. <laughs> like they just gave him so much energy for no reason. You know? He went from like a like a clean Clint Eastfoot type to I don't even know what this is. Like it's just the level of energy that's not right, you know? Because normal graves like they picked the wrong fact. And he's like, oh, watch out! Like, that's not, that's not Graves, man. Tell it to him, Darius. Tell it to him. Talk to him nice. When I saw that he just walked back with two stacks on him, I had to. I had to go for it. I had no choice. It wasn't me, guys. It was Darius. You guys like that high action gameplay? I do. Got that shove in real quick. Now we recall and we will return. Strider thinks the go to here. This battle belongs to the wolves. It's one kill, Darius. Calm down, bro. Calm down. We're gonna win this thing! <laughs> this is a mess and a half. Quit moving around! A wolf knows the scent of fear. Royals are covered in it. Ooh, that ain't good. Neither is this. Can you stop giving birth to these? Yeah, there's too many minions, man. I'd love to fight him there and kill him, but uh. At some point, we just gotta call it quits. Seriously? Oh. Man. That sucks. We almost got that Q in, but I, I, because we had Isolation, I doubt we would have killed the Kha'Zix there too. We would have for sure just been killed eventually. And the wave, dude, what is dude, these melees? Instead of just walking in front and tanking the range, they just like... Shuffle around here as the ra the red ranger to die. Man, melee minion AI. Just look at this, man. It's so weird. Be consistent. Be consistent. Whatever. Wait, how did York get that kill? <laughs> did he get it off of corrupt pot? Wow. All right, I'm taking every one of these, by the way, which ain't good. If 
I land that Q, I kill him there. We died that episode, but I just did it so that you lose the minions. Gotta get a lead some way or another. It's a bit too risky, isn't it? Yeah. Did the... the cage, man. I thought the last auto attack went on the cage and not the Yorick. Because the basic idea... I don't know what the basic idea is, because the thing about Yorick is... Every single York mechanic works specifically to Yorick, and it's not consistent with the rest of the game at all. So with his cage, like, when you're autoing the York and he walks out, the auto goes on the cage, that I know. So he did that, but the auto went on the York this time. So I thought the cage was, like, at one health, but it was at two health, because I didn't get the auto off on it. Whatever, man. Let's try to go for a fight once we get our ultimate back. And a flash. We definitely have a... At least a level lead. I'm not a savior. I am an executioner. Blood for blood. Every team dies, some faster than others. Yeah, if you save that. Thing. Maybe you would have had to see us instead of just 100 damage on me. I don't know why he isn't just summoning Maiden. It's a no brainer at this point. That big boy. Let's see if I can get like a plate here. A feast for the wolves. Yep, we got a seller D blade, unfortunately. Their entire team is just getting bodied by ours. So that's good. I should be able to kill him here. He did made it at the same time as me, so I have like roughly half a minute to do so. I'll just run at him and hope Stride is fast enough. I mean, Stride slows him enough for me to kill him. What was that? Okay, he's actually coming in for the dive. That's good. You tank, you tank, you tank. Good. I'm liking this guy. He kind of got the idea that he should tank it. And so he did it from like a high range with his W2. So he could easily leave the turret range. So that was like excellently done by him. Good job. I'm gonna go for Sweet Tooth here. I know it sounds insane, but I really want the extra move speed this match. I just have to have it. So I'm gonna go for it. And there's nothing anybody can do to stop me. <laughs> Nefarious Darius. Get them switched up. The enemy team isn't losing that hard, but they're certainly not doing too well, right? If we keep going like this, we would, we'll just end them because they kind of need kills to function that like to function well. Oh, 
I hate Yorick with every like ounce of my soul. But not as much as some of the other champions that I hate. Yes, Harold. Is he gonna just pop the third now that I'm gone? He's not gonna be able to get it because it's full HP, but that'd be annoying. I kind of want Hullbreaker a lot here. The, the double resist will help me against Yorick, actually, because he has both types of damage. If he stuck around a bit more, he could have gotten three plates. So I guess that's his loss. I'm pretty sure he can get away from the Graves. No, he has ult, jump, Yumus. Oh, whoa, 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 bro! Bro, no! Bro. Real. Keep playing that, bro. Did I tell you to stop? Did I tell you to stop playing, bro? I told you to play, and you just stopped. Do not. Everyone has a choice, and you chose to die. <laughs> you should have mugged him. <laughs> like, we just should have mugged him. <laughs> like, actually. Oh. Yo, mother of your life. Only the real ones know what that is from. Fear not, mortal. I will lead us to victory. Let's go for. I think Destiny's could work quite well here. Back top. I have Hullbreaker, so if I kill him here, I should be able to get the turret, like, instantly. Hello. Got all of that move speed, man. Dude, we're running at 430 by default. <laughs> 430 by default. Now we're kind of low HP, so I'd rather just recall here. I, may be gone, but the wolves are I don't want to... Because it's actually bought. Maybe I shouldn't recall. Eh, who cares. An age of conflict is within our grasp. All we have to do is take it. I'm gonna go visit bot lane. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Be free to fight. Be free to kill. They all died there. Oh. But she just clears it like that. in here. Whatever, man. 
I ain't it. 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 I got. I got tilted there. Honestly, that I didn't catch her with my hook, and then I just ran for it. I. That was tilt. That was a tilt ghost. All right, I gotta relax. I was also mad that the Lux could clear the whole wave that quickly. That she had. That she was strong enough to do that. I have to, like, I know, weird things tilt me, but they do add up. And they do actually tilt me. So I gotta relax. And focus. Zen. Sorry, but we forced it. Vision on them, so I can't really plan a kill. That's what I'm talking about with the uh, auto attacks disappearing into his W, by the way. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I my W on him and it went on his, like, terrain thing. That's like a prime example of how disgusting this champion is. Because, in my opinion, until they fix all of his bugs and all the stupid little, you know, ways his kit is just different for no reason. He should just, you know, just spend like a saw two patches fixing everything. That's it. I think such a champion should never be viable because he's literally just not a part of the game almost. Like every part, his minions work differently. His like the cage works differently. The e everything just works differently, man. Like it's not consistent at all. Like on what planet does my W go on the the cage instead of him there? But it just does, and it shouldn't, man. That's why I dislike Yorick. If they just spent a few patches just fixing all his bugs and making him a normal champion, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Because he actually is consistent at that point. But right now, it's just everything's so inconsistent. And I don't like that. This is a little problem with all the new champions, by the way. Because every time they make a new champion, they just give them new mechanics. Like, oh, their auto attacks do this now. The passive effect that they have on enemies now give them vision of you. So you can't use bushes. It's like just weird stuff added in just to, like... I don't know. I don't know why. Just to reduce counterplay, I guess. It's annoying. Can't really fight right now. I gotta, like, see them first so I can plan my all in. What is that? Oh. Trying to make a play here? Wave then. Oh, the death stance got me, Rip. Nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> good job, good job, good job. Nice. All right. Um, not gonna lie. After building it right here, I feel like that sense is just a trash item. <laughs> I think I can definitely say right now that Death Dance should not be built. It's just trash. Like, they killed this item, man. Especially with all the new items having all the... Like, the stacks and stuff getting a bunch of new stats. Right? In comparison to that, just Death Dance looks so terrible. Because it gives you trash stats and the Defy thing. Like, they just killed the healing. And honestly, the Ignore Pain is just not enough on its own to make the item attractive. So I'll put it here first, right? Death Dance is no longer a core item, and it's barely a situational item now. I, I would put it on the same tier as Black Cleaver, actually, at this point. I think Holebreaker is more viable than Death Dance by, like, a pretty big margin. We should be able to get the Baron here, no? Never mind. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Far, far too soon. Don't die now. Oh, he's dead. Whoa! 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 Man, I think we're gonna lose the ADC killing contest against the, gra the, against the Graves here. Dude, he bodied her. Like, that, that was crazy. Woof. Hubba hubba. Alright, I'll go bot lane and get the turd. Harder. <laughs> I know what you're gonna do before you even think you're gonna do it, pal. Uh, let's do it. Bit risky, but I still have my R, so I can still fight. I don't know if I even get to her. Let's get to my range. Still have red buff though. Bro, you can't beat me! You can't beat me! Sorry guys. I went goblin mode. Get this bad boy. Hmm. Around the best spot here. I'm gonna go for DMP then. Like, like I want way more moose speed, but I also need to tank up against both AD and Lux. I think. I'll just have to rely on my move speed to dodge Lux's abilities. This makes it so that she'll have the ability to actually just one-shot me, right? Or she'll chunk me out quite heavily. But when I go for DMP, I'll be able to just catch up to her and kill her quickly. So I'm gambling that that's more worth it, you know? Hello. That ain't good, that ain't good, that ain't good, that ain't good. Mm. 
No maiden, no you. You're next! Alright guys, sorry about that. Really sorry. I'm crazy for no reason. That's not a good look. Man. Dude, my heart's beating so hard. Like, that was a 1v5. <laughs> and he just barely got away. Oof. I think they're ready for round two, boys. What do you think? I think they're ready for round two. That was close. Good job, Ezreal. Son of dog. <laughs> That's just his, like, assigned name. Son of dog. Whew, man, I, I, got, I, got, I got some fire in my belly right now. Whew. Fire in my veins. Okay, he's cooking. Yeah. Bro, please, just a little bit better and you kill him. Alright, Ari. You ain't me, bro. You ain't me. You ain't me, bro. She thinks she's Roku. She thinks she's Darius. Nah. I think I can just brute force end them. <laughs> Too much of a threat. Flashback. All right, I think I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> Maybe Death Dance isn't that bad. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, we're back to my gameplay. I'm playing on the Lunar Beast skin. I know I've hated on the skin a lot, but I wanted to switch it up a bit from God King. So here we are. Um, homeboy's not doing too well. Never mind. Sucks like I have to start his um, belly slam level one. They'll mess this first camp clear up, but if the ball ink gives him a good leash, he should be fine. We're against Garen. He's running phase rush, which means that he knows what he's doing at the very least on the most base level. It means that he, it means that he knows how to look up an U.GG page, but this is some crazy, like, summer spell choices here. So, Ghost. All right, I get it. To kind of my Ghost. But then Teleport. So, he doesn't have Flash to do anything about my, about my Flash out plays. He just has Ghost, so he'll be able to run, basically. Um, I I don't really have a comment here. Uh, we'll probably just eat him up, but our ability to do ghost cheese is going to go down significantly because he could just activate his phase rush and run together with phase rush and ghost. Go away, buddy. I will attempt to play this slowly. See where it takes us, bro. He has such like, like tiny feet in this skin. 
and a massive upper body. He's just skipping leg day every day. Got a W in there. Not doing the greatest job of farming, but we hope I can pick up the pace. I hope not weak. My W just disappeared. He just into this ghost. That was some primo kiting there, boys. I think I mentioned it in one of the previous matches, but Kane was an example of one of those champions that's easy to 2v1. As we can see, they have no CC, so it's exceptionally easy for us to just kill them both. Right. Bam, bam. Let's just go for it. I'll wait for it. I'll wait for it. Let's go try first then. I'm gonna try first instead. Okay. I mean, I've got Bill Flex as a destroyer breaker anyway. So maybe we'll go stride still. The wave is in a trash spot right now. Woof. We should be able to fix it when we get here, but because I didn't get a full clean crash in, it's just, it's a mess. I did want to tempt the Garen, because if he teleported back instantly, he could just kill us, right? So I couldn't crash the wave in. Without risking death. I have my orders. Go. A, a juicy red buff W in there. Call it a starter. Give me that to HP region. <laughs> He should just auto me once then you get face rush and he could actually run away. I can't take plating, so I don't think here. I can actually. This is the fortify thing on. If he had ignite, I'd be scared here that he might kill us, but no, he can't. <clears throat> as long as I land a Q, I should be able to body him. So should I land one just on its own for the sustain? Nice. That's why flash is useful. Oh. I thought he'd go for me. He can actually win the fight because I don't have the mana to beat him. Can't do WQ, right? We have four kills in five minutes. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Bam, bam. We're having a mutiny on our hands here. Bot lane is fighting against each other. Come on, boys. Unite. I will carry us to victory. I think... I might just go for a Stridebreaker Holebreaker. And out, out of all the combinations I've tried, Stride Holebreaker feels the best, honestly. Because Holebreaker is kind of like a mix between Dead Man's Plate and a Stair Axe. Because it gives you both damage and it gives you, gives you, gives you damage, it gives you durability, and it gives you very decent move speed, right? The issue with going DMP second is that if you go stride DMP, then yeah, you'll be able to catch up to people very easily, you'll be able to run on the map, but you won't really do <coughs> oh, damage, right? You'll really lack damage. And you just feel it when your ult does like a straight up 100 less damage. And, and like that adds up, right? That makes fights a bit hard to win when you're in the middle of the fight. So it's like... Never retreat. 
And if you go for Stridebreaker, if you go for Sterax, or like a Destiny or something, yeah, you have damage and you have some durability, but you don't have that move speed to just catch up to people without having to use your summoner spells. With Hullbreaker, you can catch up to people who haven't built move speed, and you can do the damage to actually perform in fights, right? And the durability is also there if you're, if you're alone. Now, if you build Hullbreaker and you're fighting with your team, then it's kind of not too great, right? Because <laughs> you don't get the durability. You just get a damage and some move speed, but still. <clears throat> what do you mean, open, man? Y'all aren't even doing that badly. Cool it, boys. I can carry. Smiley face. <clears throat> now there's pressure on me to perform. I've never heard that, that combination of just words. <laughs> Oof. I should have kept the freeze in the Gragas can get a gank off. Uh, he should have slowed first and then gone for it. Oh, he has that. Good. That works. Oh, he does not care about his account right now. Ugh, respect. Actually, no. He's the one producing the chat pollution right now, so maybe not. Chat pollution? I don't know. I, I'm, I just coined the, coined the term right this second. But it's when someone fills the chat with communication that's just not useful. You know? I want uh, Merc Treads here, actually. I'll just sell this for him. I know it's a waste of D-Blade, but I'd rather have the tenacity early rather than later because we might get into a fight with like some of the other members of the team, enemy team, with that tenacity in terms of the silence, the roots, might come in handy. One thing is bad because Malzar will just ult me and me alone, so I hope the Gragas or the Blitz can kind of peel me from him, right, and just like CC him so that he can't really do that anymore. Because having the QSS is like a a big diversion, you know. Let's see if I can just short trade him over and over again and kill him. Should be able to have the damage. That's through his W too. Oof. Good. Let's get the turret here. He's actually working around me, which is good. Like, he did it perfectly. He did it. He played it perfectly. Uh, since I'm working with him, I'll go for uh, Sterex here. 
Let's see if I can get down here. Change us into. <laughs> he just ran in and died, man. Okay, wonderful. Hmm. <clears throat> Maybe we still go for Holebreaker. I don't know, man. The thing is, because Gragas has shown that he can work with us well, that's encouraging me to go for Sterax because. If he's going to be able to set me up this well through the whole game, then we can just, you know, get a lot of work done with him, not just by ourselves. So the Hallbreaker is not exactly a necessity at the moment. <clears throat> I mean, I'll see how it goes. But so far, I'm liking, you know, I'm liking what he's putting down. Okay, in here. He can farm that, I'll get this turret. It's a good time. Bro! Nice. Good job, good job. Just like that. Just like that. I think we can 2v5 two, two this. We can 2v5 this, definitely. Is clear. Man, I like that I'm starting to find competent people now to work with. MF is also kind of doing well. The only problematic people are the bot lane. But I think with how fed I am, I can just maul their bot lane. So as long as I'm not just running into CC, and this Gragas is at my back, we should be good to just killing them all. We should be good to just go ahead and kill them all. I know my English just died there for some reason, but bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. Red cane with you moves. Okay. That's a uh, choice. We got him, we got him, we got him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Art shall blossom from your Perfectly done, perfectly done. Perfectly done. Nice. Dude, this guy, I don't know if he plays Darius or something, but he is doing everything I need from him. This is so awesome, man. This guy can cook. He can cook. I'll get the Herald on my own, and they should be able to take the dragon. See? All right, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. Nice, man. I'm liking this guy. Make no mistakes. So, yeah, I should ward that. Let's go. I should be able to just 2v1 here.
We should have them here. Guys. We have them surrounded. He just recalled? Alright, cool. Perfect. Can Blitz pull something off for me here? Come on, man. We should be able to get this mid turret. Good. Spot turret on the risk here? Nope. Good. Next turret. Leave in hib. Leave in hib. Too early. Alright, we're good, we're good. Uh, if I landed my ult there, I would have gone for it. <sighs> if I dude, if I landed my ult on the, the on the Garen here or the Kane, I just killed them too quickly. I killed them way too quickly. Yeah, that was a huge mistake. I kinda threw. <clears throat> One K on the gin. That's terrible. I'm gonna go for the MP here just so I can catch up to the backline better, because lack of Musi was a big problem here. Then I'm gonna go for the Death Stance. I know Death Stance is like the better buy overall, but I kinda want the move speed right now. And we could finish the DMP, right? Bro, you gotta land hooks, man. You gotta land hooks. Like, all his KP is just him standing around us as we, as we catch people, you know? Which ain't good. Ain't conducive to a GG well played. I do not tolerate cowards. Once we kill the Kane, I'm fairly certain we can just very easily Baron. Let's see if I can find this Malzor here. Is that him? Yeah, it was. Nice, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. No R used. They won't do it. Oh, they will? Okay. I'll come in. Good. Can we find the cane? Right, nah, he runs through walls. Because he's a fair champion, of course. Strength above all. Right. Let's just get the minions and leave. I'm liking DMP so far, by the way. Getting a lot done with the move speed. My destination is clear. He could just free farm against the Garen, which means that he'll scale eventually, right? I mean, I guess the Garen could just ghost him down. That's a that is a world that could exist, and because it's like a top member of the ADC, he's probably just gonna one one combo the Israel, right? He has no peel here. I should I should be there. Stay alert. So there's a world that can happen, but as long as Israel is careful, it shouldn't be like too bad. Too fast for me. It's all good. Get, uh, yep. 
I was just zoning the cane from the uh, dragon. Okay, she can have that. Once cane is dead, look to do Baron if 180 is alive. Can't spot. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, I'll try to um, go for this flank here. Oh, they're, they're, they're constantly pushing, alright. They get that mid turret, but once you kill them, we can just end. We can't end, but we can go for their inhib and then maybe go for an end fight there. He's got a ghost too? I can tag to Garen R, so I'm not walking up. <sighs> Bro, we are doing some primo kiting. Keep waves pushed and then siege. We should win. I will not rest. Surely she kills the Malzari, right? Please don't tell me. Please no. Hit the minions for life seal, I guess. Dude, she barely got killed by 0-3 Malzahar! She almost got. Barely is the other way, if she died. I should have pinged them back. But they got him, no? Uh no, 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 no. That's terrible. Man, that death sense came in handy. I could have maybe killed the cane there first if I flashed on him, but I had to kill the Jin first. He's like the actual real threat. All right. Um, let's see what's good here. Um. So gargles. Stay alert. I have to use it earlier on though to block damage when I'm high HP, and then Sterx can block when I'm low HP. Let's keep this pushed. Never retreat. What is he going? Is he going for the? I, I, him just walking up like that kind of <laughs> tilted me. If the guy got away, I would be so tilted at the Blitzcrank. She can have it. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm super powerful and I got these two, well, this guy with me. I missed my ultimate. Oh no, oh no, oh no. And we're two people up, we should be able to siege this through. Good. Mm. 
And then we gotta run. Man, if I had my R6, it would have been better. Good. Can I get the gin here? I'm gonna hook the dragon. I walked behind it to block the Jin W in case we, like, he got lucky. Okay, now I gotta go for my guard rolls. Let's get it. No, I don't. I gotta get more. Rip. Now we can leave. We should be quite beefed up with it. Quite caked up. Make no mistakes. I'll have to push top out. Root force the Baron if they kill and end. Got him. At least the mouse are. They can kill the mouse are on their own. <laughs> this is Stevie. Here right, right. quickly. This is 50 50 though. Kill, 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 kill. Chase. Nice. End. That's it. We've won. Bro, dude, we did so much cooking this game. Man, me, Gragas, and MF. Nice. The inhib just got up at the worst time, man. It's not looking good here. Man, they got so lucky there. What's that? Also, I messed up my gargoyle's grace, so... He's gotta die. Good. We can go for the end again. We can chase the Jin down. Seriously. I got my gargoyles gonna do it.
end, end, end. So um, at this point, we kind of just got ran down and lost. And the thing is, I would have left that part of the match in, but I've, I have I basically just swore so much that I got tired of bleeping it. So I'm just going to leave it right here. We lost this match somehow. Crazy, right? But I kind of overchased there a bit. And also the team chased with me instead of just hitting the game. Whatever. Bye. All right, we're back with some gameplay. We're on a different account now because Darius got banned too many times in a row. Which... Ended up in me having to switch to another account to get my games, but um, yeah, we went for an invade, and then invade completely failed, which adds a great start to this already wonderful sounding match. Yeah, that was a mess. Honestly, going for a level one against Galio, Olaf, Trinimir is just insane as a concept, but yeah, here's what it is. My audio settings are completely messed up on this account, by the way. Because I haven't, like, used it in, like, I don't know. I would say, like, half a year or so. Well, not half a year. Like, maybe February. So, half of half a year, I suppose. Quarter year. Okay. I do not tolerate cowardice. <laughs> if I land, I Q's dead. Well, he's dead anyway. Nice. Because he used both these sums for that um, invade play, he was basically defenseless, and he just used the Z. So all you have to do was just flash on him and follow up the play. Bam. Hammer Moosey also helped quite a bit there. Gonna go for Tobby's first item. Then we'll see how it goes. That's a little too loud. That should be the gold lock zone. Yeah, dude, you, you're not gonna kill him there. Is she? One more. Nice, nice, okay. Good. That's perfect, yeah. Just waited for him to use W, so he had no shield to fight back. Because I feel like once he started auto attacking, it would have been a bit problematic for her to try to kill him. Because he'll just heal up. Ah, how annoying. He lives through the bleed too. I messed up my Q there. The Q would have definitely gotten me that kill. Oh well. Fairly certain this just her auto him to death here. Nice. Good job. Yeah, definitely messed it up. I went for a Q, but I shouldn't have. I should just kept auto attacking because with auto attacks, I would have eventually killed him. Right, if you guys saw there. Because that Q missed and because. Of the, I think it was ghosted. There's no way I could land the Q. So instead of the Q, one more auto attack would have just finished him off there. So yeah, mistake. But happens, and at least kind of saved the day, so that's good. Which is now fed, so I feel like I gotta go like randomize this game. Like second, third item. Something crazy like that. Doesn't die. Don't have any AD. I don't think he was ghosted back there, by the way. Okay. Make no mistakes. Could have gone for a potential fight there.
I didn't go for this. Yes, I'm gonna spin away. They kind of just left it. Strength above all. Mess that up. Destination is clear. Should be doable. Why didn't she just cocoon with my hook? Whatever. Yeah. She just didn't cocoon with my hook there. It's fine. Or maybe she, I don't know. Like, with this, with a skin, I don't really. Recognize the effects anymore. <laughs> Let's let go. I will not rest. A little upset that we didn't get much out of that, but at least we got his ghost, right? I lost my ghost, so I guess it wasn't a cool exchange. Which isn't good for building leads. Alright, that was good. 2v1 and we killed one of them. There is a jump in rank though, because this account is quite a bit higher rank than the other one. Because the one that I played on before this, it was low platinum, right? I, I, I had to basically dodge at low platinum, because I'm not playing like a whole match of non-Darius just to be able to risk playing Darius just for him to get banned again in the next queue. So, because I had to switch accounts. We went from low plat to like like plat four ish to plat two ish, so there's definitely a difference in skill here that's quite noticeable, right? By the way, we're going for strike breaker this match for sure. Helps quite a bit against this team actually. Might go for anti heal too. For the Trinda, for the Olaf. Whoever the Sona heals up, I guess. I'm just gonna shove this in. He's farming something, he's gonna lose stuff here. Stay alert. Bad yes, are yeah, you're right. He's definitely farming someone's jungle. Hopefully not the Elise's. Where's the where the Yeah, he took Elise's blue buff. Rip. Never retreat. That's not gonna let him farm at all. Nice Karthus with the ultimate. Good. I was trying to time my ultimate there to play, to, to go off but like as soon as his ult finished, but he kind of uh, spun away a bit early. The thing about going executions into Trina like this is that when he spins away like that and just heals up, he actually dies to your bleed. Whoa, Twitch kill everyone. Yep. That way we have two long swords, so we can go one of them because he's calling without sacrificing the build too much. That's a good part about the new builds. Long swords create versatility. I'll just sell a D blade. I mean D shield. I don't really need it anymore. Let's get back top. Yeah, Twitch is gonna be a tough cookie. That's got a lot of good peel with the Galio, right? These guys don't really peel that much, but they're extra meat for me to just chop through, so it can get annoying. I try my best to see if I can take out the Twitch with my sums, right? Sona might be annoying, but I don't expect too much resistance if we have like an Oxymite. And if we're fed, which we're kind of on the track to being. My 
destination is clear. There's the big cheeser. I will not rest. <laughs> I got it. All right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's that's a pretty nasty sandwich. Right there. Didn't reduce anything, he just died too quickly. Let's get a turd. Yeah, mid's getting slaughtered. Take that, that's not a turret. I don't have the level to fight another proper fight though. Let's do it. Oh, they're not fighting, good. Because the thing is, if those two walked up, the Elise cocoons one of them, I run in and one shot them with the Elise ult, and then I have my level 10 from that, which gives me the mana I need to kill the, the whoever else, right? So we could actually 2v3 that, but they didn't take it, so whatever. Stay alert. Gonna go for the AD. I kind of want to find a fight against their bot lane here, or somewhere. They've been hanging around mid for the longest time, so I think if I run in there, I should be able to catch them. Oh, that Bork is going to hurt. So if I could just find the Olaf here, Noxium Might or something, I can get on the Twitch and kill him. Him and the Sona. Both. Oh my god, they were still here! I thought they went bot, man. Ugh. They actually just trapped us here. That was so cheese. Gross. Number three man wasting time on this Trinda. Whatever. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That Sona ult towards the end kind of just sealed the deal. But it's not like they're done, I think. The second Twitch just like... We got into the firing rage of Twitch. There was just... It was over. He does way too much damage for me to just tank normally. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dude, why'd you stay? Why'd you stay? Why'd you stay? Do I need to go Serpent's Fang as well here? I can flash on him. What a mess, man. What a mess. Bot lane 2 feed! I don't really care about killing him at the moment, I just want the farm. Alright, I have to be very careful with how their Twitch moves are on the map. He's their primary playmaker, their primary form of damage, and like the entire enemy team revolves around him now. Okay, let's get down there. If I can get a good angle, we should be good to go. They're constantly fighting. This is good, this is good, this is good. I can run in here. He didn't get any other kills, so that's good. She still has R? Good. Perfect, perfect. We actually got him. I've got the gold on the Karthus too, who's our damage dealer. Pretty good, pretty good. 
There's a great hook from the fish there, actually. Good. Let's just recon and go back top. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for Sterex. No real other, like, no brainer option. Okay, I'm going for IE, so. Yeah, so this is not standing in my way here, but IE means that if we catch him alone, not alone, but if we isolate him somehow and get a bunch of people on him, he should be defenseless. Now, it might be a bit tricky because if we're going to commit that much onto him, it's going to be. Is, is Gali AFK? So we're basically fighting 45 this entire time. Okay, then this one should be a wrap, shouldn't it? He's AFK the whole time and we're struggling this much? Okay. We should be better at just full-on 5v5s then, right? This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, okay, they actually made it work. Good. That was close. That was close. Oh, oh. He dies to bleed. Coolio. No, <laughs> Kali is just going AFK. It's so convenient. They open now? I hope they do, but they're probably not going to because this is EU West. I think the enemy team is going to do what's called an EU West open, where one person says open, even though it's not actually open. It's just everyone's going to play like normal. Each region has its own thing. The NAA RAM, the NA RAM, EU West open, you know, classics. I'll just ping that so someone takes care of it because I don't want to. <laughs> Wanna siege bot turret? Let's go, Lanius. March on. Never retreat. Yeah, the Olaf is just grouping with them permanently. What? Make no mistakes. Bro. Yeah, I'll just get engaged on with the Twitch Sono. Don't want to fight them. But if they're here messing with me instead of killing my team, I'm fine with that. I actually gotta go because they're rotating back, probably. That hook would have killed every all of them there. I could have killed everything on my Noxia Mike Ghost. Still got flash up in 30 though. It should be killable here. Right, we actually we have Carthus instead of like an ADC so Sieging is harder than it should be. Here's something that won't wash off.
pop this one down. Now it's a 3v5. Pretty sure if I just flash on Twitch, get like a hook on her and so on, we should be able to end this game. Let's get out of here. I'll have the other one. The, the Elise, Elise. Yeah. I was mix Elise and another one up, man. I'll get like a. Um... Yep. Warden's Mail. If the game lasts long enough, I'll build it into like a randoms, but I doubt it will, honestly. Turn to split pushing, so I'm pretty sure we can just run them down here. Good. Yeah, this should be a bunch of kills. <laughs> that ultimate just insect the Twitch into us. Let's end. Stay with the Karthus here and kill whoever tries to challenge him. Does he land it? No, what? Of course you wouldn't go there, ma'am. Ma'am. Doing a lot of caring, but we at least crushed the game-winning fight. Anyway, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace. Out. Oh, I remember some gameplay. Now, one thing that I have to do as a disclaimer is that my wireless mouse ran out of battery, so I have it plugged in. And because I'm not used to playing with wired, I am going to probably not do too well mechanically. We'll see, obviously. But, you know, just using the mouse from wireless to wired just feels a little weird. Feels like there's like a weight on my mouse. So, uh, yeah, um, don't expect, no, no, expect me to mess some things up, all right? But since you're watching the channel, I think you already expect that. <laughs> we rarely just play like completely perfectly. But I mean, I don't know. That's the storyline of the match. Anyway, let's wait for the minions to show up. Rep gets Wukong here. We should be able to body him level one. The tough fight's gonna be a level six. At that point, I hope we have um, a few kills at least. Or like a Ninja Tabbies, maybe. That could help too. Trying to find W fights against them. Man, I racked with them, but Darius just went all the way around the minions. They're just running right at Wukong because I didn't ghost at the time. Which caused a problem. But I mean, we got the flash anyway, so it's not that bad. Gotta be quite careful here. And that's him dead. Nice. He was quite impatient there. I thought he went for the dash out in addition to the dash in. I don't know. The, the one that leaves the clone, right? I think he went for that ability because it makes sense. If you want to farm at that point, you got to have the ability to go in and go out. So the natural thing to rank for him there would have been to not rank his Q. Not, not rank... Yeah, not rank his Q, just rank WE. But he actually went for Q there. And he went in. So we had no choice but to uh, blast him. Blasted. 
And this is quite a greedy setup too. <laughs> so you're not waiting a lot of all-ins like this, buddy. Stay alert. I mean, unless he gets a really good cheese all-in, he wins. But aside from that, no. Anyway. She needs help. Lots there. Yeah, my movement wasn't that clean there. You guys notice? Again, the mouse is not something I'm used to when it's wired. Now we're in a bad spot here because we gotta shove this in. I messed that up. It's fine. Um, let's just finish our tabbies. That Kog'Maw is going to be such a problem, though. I might get, like, an Anathema's Chains and put it on him towards the end of the game, but I feel like even that's not going to do too much to stop him from melting us down. So I sincerely hope that these guys, who are all, like, expert at killing Squishies, at least these two, can take care of him. So that I'm not suffering too much. Because the whole world rolls are me off. I don't know what that was. Oh, God. Sorry for the commentary getting lower quality, I guess. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be... We're not going to We're not gonna allow him to touch the wave, basically. If I get a single stack on him, I should be able to see where he goes with his... Even through his, like, um, invis. I didn't just dodge that. Are you serious? There's no way he actually went for that. He, and he lived! Wow. Color me impressed. Color you dead. Get out of here. Hmm. I got a lot of melee-ish people. I'll go for the kill and jump first because it builds and everything, but I'm trying to see what will work best in this match. So they got a bunch of assassins, right? A lot of burst, a lot of DPS. So we could go for full-on damage, but the damage is going to be a bit tough because they do have a bunch of CC as well, right? So I think we need something that gives us a bit of tankiness at the very least. So Triforce is off the table. So Strybreaker is a good option here. Divine, I don't think it's the best. I don't think Divine works too well for us here. Could go Gorjinker, actually. That could be cheese, but it could work. I doubt that kills him. And she took my whole wave! Alright, whatever. I deserved it. I attempted to full dive him. <laughs> I, I, I attempted to dive him from full health at this early into the game. If that worked, the game would just be broken, honestly. So I, I think it makes sense that I didn't kill him there. Just, just for the sake of justice. Hmm. I am not gonna lie, guys. I might even try Gorjinker this game because it sounds like it sounds like what I need, right? I can activate when the Wukong, the Nocturne, and stuff are in melee, and should get like a second wind of health. I'll try it. I'll try it for this match and this match alone. This is not to say that it's now a viable item, but let's just see how it performs and then see what we can get out of it. And if it's good enough, maybe we we can add it to our repertoire of mythics that we can go for. We should be beefed up health-wise, though. It gives a lot of good health stats. 75. I still don't think it's as, good as, it's as good as Stride or Triforce in most cases, but this is a bit of a unique case. We're up against a bunch of CC, or up against a bunch of melees, and we need health. I 
I mean, we need durability. Which the healing should give. They should buff up the Omni Vampires, actually, to like 10%. Because it's kind of lacking compared to the other items. No mistakes. Other mythics. Talent still mid. I don't know where Nocturne went, honestly, with that ult. He was going bot or something, right? Never retreat. Better not. That's <laughs> unlucky, buddy. Talon's looking quite strong here. They can go for like a Gorge Drinker and the Holberger. Strength above all. Just complete beefcake build. They got him. If they can't get him, I doubt me going there is gonna to do too much to change the situation. Let's just go for a freeze then. Um see that's the only natural option into furthering our lead. Cause he's just playing safe as he should. Move speed, man. Oh, the Hearth Bone Axe actually helped them out there because the auto attack move speed gave him the move speed to actually get away from me. I, do not I should hook preemptively cowardice. next time he does that. This should push in eventually. Talon's missing though, so let's just I prepare our ghost to just run away. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's not pushing in. I'm killing it at too high health. Gotta be, like, more surgical. What? Death by my hand. I already got that one. We clicked on the right, wrong one. Let's like, get, like, get, like, a crash in, and then stop him farming it. Then we can go for the freeze, because it'll push it this better. Okay. I gotta time it with his wave. Okay. Alright, let's get the town here. Good. Where'd the talent go, man? Oh. Yeah, it's bot lane. Stay alert. There's Talon. Let's get a crash in and then get our board drinker. Good. Let's go pick the bad boy up. <sighs> Sorry, boys. Been recording all morning. I'm gonna mute the sound a bit and then plug in my wireless my plug in the wireless functionality on my mouse because it's been charging for like the whole game, right? I don't want you guys to hear the Windows noises, so you guys will have to just endure with the the silence of nothingness in terms of the game. And we're back. Nice. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Next, we're gonna go for and that's way more free. Um, Hullbreaker. Yep. We're gonna be way more slow here, but we should just be like, like a like a drain tank boss battle. We already kind of are that, but <laughs> oh, that sucked. That was a W range, man. Not gonna lie, having <laughs> whatever, whatever. 
Whatever. Oh. I thought I had the moose to catch it to him. So I'm gonna say. Is it me? Is it me? Nope. It's Pauline again. He's just trying to camp the Kogma, I guess. Which is a smart choice, honestly. Get the Kogma kills. But they're not really succeeding so far. Which is good for us. Let's pick up a bunch of good jungle camps here. Oh, it's just gone. Buff. Nope. Guess we go mid and collect some farm here. Jumps through wherever he wants. I, do not tolerate cowardice. I kinda wanna just get Holebreaker in one go, so I'm gonna keep farming. It's greedy of me. But oh, oh. Do we catch him? Do we catch him? I don't know. He has more moves speed than me. Nope. He just got his auto command Moose V2. I should have ghosted for it, but he can't just ult activate you. I mean, he already had activate you, but he could just um, ult and then jump through this wall or something, and then I can't do anything else. All right, if I ghost towards him, I have to kill him in one combo, and if I slip something up, or if he uses his ultimate at the right time to not get one comboed, then we can't do anything. Should be a Terror Farce now. Good. Let's get this farm here. Can I get the sweat buff? My destination is <laughs> Good. I think Raptor can Raptor can will do it. Or I guess one more top wave will do it. Even these ones, because I'm going to plan... I'm going to sell my D-Shield, right? Since that's 180, we get our... I'll just here and take this, actually. I didn't even have to sell D-Shield then. Bro, can you just give it a rest? I trying to freeze while I'm still here, man. Whoa! That was enough, man? <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy that that was enough. Whatever. Ah, uh, so disappointed. I should have saved my Gordrinker. Okay, the problem that I have with using Gordrinker is I always use it way too early. Right? Like, I use it for its damage. I gotta switch my mentality to using it for my um, health. So I'm gonna save Gordrinker and not use it with my RWQ combo because that's how i use strybreaker and i'm using gorgeous like it's strybreaker basically no gotta use it like it's Gorgeous. i hope that made logical sense by the way because <laughs> oftentimes i say things and then i listen to my recording and it doesn't even make sense <laughs> like when i when i watch it back you know i was like what what, what did i even say here you know this also hello Oh, he just went. I thought he'd go for a trick. Waste of time. She catches up better anyway. I'll take it. He does have a gold reset on me, so that gives Talia more gold. this quickly. Oof. 
That's a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. Dude, <laughs> I'm like expecting a fight. I'm getting excited and it's just nothing, man. Come on. Come on, I'm bored. Fight me. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. This is the right timing for Baron. What was that? Should be heard dead. Oh! Yeah, let's get out of here. Got an inhib at least, that's good. Not gonna lie, man. <sighs> Having less move speed and attack speed is kinda freaking me out here a little bit. Like, all my reflexes that I've built up using Strybreaker and maybe even Triforce are just gone because of this. But it's just a different playstyle that I have to just get, like, you know, the hint of. We did well there, but. I can definitely feel that this does less damage overall. This is definitely less damaging. Okay. Is there some, some, some sort of bruisery or attack item we can go? Let me just think here. Hmm. Not exactly. There's nothing that gives us like HP and like attack speed. You know? There should be. Attack speed and health. Yeah, just mythics. Like, the, the two items in the game that give attack speed and HP are just the uh, Strider and Triforce. That's not a very diverse, you know, build choice now, is it? I'm getting bodied. I'll keep splitting. If they keep fighting, I should be able to get this. Nice. Good job, Vladimir. Noxus will rise. I messed my art attack up. Because you don't have attack speed. I just keep them here. Should be able to get something down, done down there. Man, like it, 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 it hurts, right? The lack of attack speed. Look at stitched up here. Got to move in a way where <laughs> I'm not fighting the enemy. I'm like walking around them. Perhaps we go to something that gives us a lot of. Um, let me see. Bloody haste. Attack. No. Attack damage. Let's just finish the stacks first. Um, not tolerate cowardice. Decent choice, but I don't think it helps too much against the Kogmo. You know what? Maybe yes. Gives me a ton of ability haste. Gives me a decent amount of move speed. Could be the play. Yeah, she's way faster than me. Rip. I'll put a ward down here. We should definitely go for it. What a quote by Rakan, by the way. I need to see if people can see how awesome I am, nerd emoji. Death by 
Gotta get down there. This build is completely insane, okay? I do not recommend you guys follow this. This is experimental. This is just me trying stuff out. The thing is, with our team, we're gonna win anyway, because we have a good amount of backline damage. All I gotta do is just um, stack off of their melees and pro provide some peel, which I can do that. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Yeah, that was no good. Peel that I'm not there to offer. Yeah, I'll just leave. Unless they can kite this well. Oh my god, they actually can they actually can kite. Whoa. Nice! I think we just end the game. Sucks that we didn't get the true test of Gore Drinker, but I don't know. The lack of attack speed just ruins so many quick plays you can do. Very nice. That works. <laughs> I would have done the same exact thing with any other mythic, honestly. Oh! I don't think I catch up to him. I don't think I catch up to him. <sighs> I got bamboozled. I got leapfrogged. Kill this fool. I hate that. Look, I pressed R on the real Wukong, and because he cloned, it just went on the clone, man. It should cancel. Whatever. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.